<laughs> Necrosis. After solving an audio issue, it's time to play. This is Frostbite, Deadly Climate. It's made by one guy. It's a free game on Steam. It does have combat in it. It pays homage to the thing from the reviews I've read. It's got very positive reviews, and I'm just going to dive right in. There's a limited number of saves tied to the difficulty, so we get four saves, as I understand it. We're going to play on normal. I can hear one of my hard drives making weird noises. That can't be good. <clears throat> my name is Robert, and I'm an arctic biologist who was tracking a polar bear for research until I ended up getting caught in a sudden snowstorm. I'm now lost, and what's worse, night has begun to fall. Out of sheer luck, I stumbled across a small hut and immediately took shelter in it. However, the hut has no power, and without it, I'll surely freeze to death. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to escape this predicament. I don't think he has to worry about shit. I'm the one that has to figure it out. So we've got all our instructions. All keys can be mapped, remapped. So yeah, th there's plenty of options in this game, so first impressions are already really good. Graphic options, as well as controls. So big th thumbs up to that. Look, interact with E. Weapon is going to be the left mouse. Reload. Cycling weapon shift. Quick use. Crouch. Crouch is C. This is a 10 out of 10 game already. Inventory with the space key. Or I. Q and M. For, okay. So we've got our health. we got our stamina. The body temperature versus the area temperature. Okay. This is actually not a bad image of... Like, tutorial. Image. Inventory is going to show our ammo. Stuff. The lower your body temperature gets, the less accurate your weapon shots will be. I don't like the sound of that. The faster your stamina drains, the frost forms around the screen. Across the screen, if your body temp hits zero, you begin to lose health. Having a low body temp makes it harder for them to sense you. Oh, no. So the colder you are, the more difficult you would be to get tracked, but the colder you are. When outside contains no warmth, each room still contains some level of warmth. The higher room's temp is, the slower your body temperature decreases. Leaving doors open and breaking windows will cause the room's area temperature to permanently decrease. Okay, so we should avoid breaking windows and make sure to close doors. So far, so good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Arctic. We were following a bear, apparently, and we got an audio reel. P. Just my luck. <laughs> Did I walk under a ladder or something? Within just a few days of working at Base 75, I ended up breaking my portable tape recorder. Luckily, the base had a spare tape recorder for me to use, but out of bad luck, it turns out to be an old heavy reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. It's bad enough that my place of work is this hut and not a proper observatory, but now if I want to record it, if I want to record any of my progress, I will have to make trips to the storage A room. Though honestly, I'd rather do that than writing another one of these notes. So that's the introduction to the save system. Employee 75, or base 75 employee, Murphy, meteorologist, room. I can't take it, I can only examine it. This hut is part of a much larger base. Okay. Where the hell am I, though? Hmm. A heat drink. What? what? A heat drink? Looks like I could see. Oh, crap. Well, oh, we're screwed. Well, obviously, it's gonna be 777, right? Crap. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, maybe we'll come back to that. Is there anything else in this room before I go out into that fucking tundra? Why can't we just stay in here until. 
Well, help probably won't arrive, will it? Oh, God. Whoa, it's not. Hello? I'm just gonna follow these light things. Ah. Uh, oh, the temperature in here is a lot colder. Hey, dead guy. Sir, can I have that? I need I need that axe. His back has been torn open. I don't care, I want his axe. Or hatchet. Oh yeah. Oh, I guess I guess we can't chop up that body. I wonder if it gets any warmer. No. Guess not. Audio report log. During one of the routine runs, we found an undiscovered type of organism under the ice. We would like to mention that despite being frozen, the organism still shows sign of life. Due to this rare phenomenon, some of the staff request that they can take this opportunity for more study. After much debate and compromises, the HQ has granted us permission to study the organism, but we have only till 9-2, so a little under a month. They'll have some... I'll have someone pick up the organism during their next scheduled shipment of supplies. HQ has reported to us that we might be expecting some heavy snowstorms within the next couple of days, so they'll be expecting we might not be making some routine reports for a while. So they discovered a mystery... organism. We'll call it the thing. <laughs> it's disrespectful to mess with a body. Nah, he's already dead. If he had a problem with it, he would have stopped me. Okay, so there's no power to this place, so I can't do stuff. Until we regain radio communication, I'll write this report down. Report what during the snow report that during the snowstorm our generator retains some damage. We are still able to use the generator, but we must ration our power or we may risk overheating the generator. I don't think you're gonna have to really worry about the generator overheating. I mean, the cooling ambient temperature is pretty extraordinary, is it not? Is it sure I am? Okay, yeah, I see. Storage room A is going to be where we can save. We will have to ration... Oh, God. My screen's getting freezy. Office locked. Kitchen locked. Sorry, I just... Had an overwhelming urge to teabag. So there's storage A. Hey, it's actually warmer in here. I don't want to use the safe system yet. Storage locker. So it's very Resident Evil ish. health drink. The concept of a heat drink sounds silly to me. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Ooh, toilet paper. We got coffee and toilet paper. We've pretty much got everything we already need. And if I ever have to do my laundry. Chem fluid, what the hell is that? Chemical that we combine to make items. Oh. Just like Resident Evil. So wait. Let's see, which way should we go? Ooh, notifications. To the staff members of Base 75, we understand that you have to share a bedroom with another member, okay? as well as a co-ed ba co bathroom. Huh? That does remove a level of privacy you're probably not used to. I've always wanted to hear my co-workers fart. I don't... Eh. While it's impossible under the circumstances to give you more privacy, we have provided you a set of lockers. Any personal items that you... Uncomfortable leaving in your cooperative bedroom can be placed in these lockers for safekeeping. Something about that sentence don't seem right. Take note that you'll prov be provided with a padlock and a key for your locker, but you'll not be provided with any spare, so be sure not to lose your locker key. Cheap ass padlocks, you can lock pick them with little effort. Oh, that's a good hint. Icky. Left your keys. Murphy, I found your room key in the bathroom again. You have to stop this habit of forgetting your keys. 
Maybe you don't care if anyone gains access to your room, but I don't think I need to remind you that you are sharing a room with another person. I'm pretty sure he doesn't like the idea of people getting access to his things. Return my screwdriver. So these are all like little hints, I guess. We know that there's a key in a bathroom. Uh, I don't know if you recall, but I lent you one of my screwdrivers a while back, and while it's still no rush, I would really appreciate you returning it. Just put it on my work table in the garage when you get around to it. So, there might be a work table and a garage in the Arctic base. Good, good. So, I need a lockpick. I like how it doesn't even say you need a key, it just says you need a lockpick. Ooh, the bathroom. Hey, the bathroom is apparently warm. Oh my god, people are just leaving like toothbrushes and shit. That's. Like, you, don't, you can't trust people not to fucking go cleaning toilets and stuff. See? Oh, that's a lockpick. I thought that was a toothbrush. Hey, we got a key. And a lot of toothbrushes. Oh my gosh. What the hell's going on in this base? God damn, the snow level is, like, really high. In this very room, people had to listen to each other pooping. I need a lockpick. I thought I have a lockpick. Or do I need to select it? Uh, I forgot how to select it. Oh, shit, I just pressed... No! I just used up my thing. Don't press the two key, it uses up your freaking thing. So I guess you can pick up one item for each lockpick you find over there. Frost is already forming on the jacket, but the window is closed. Actually, in here? Oh. Spicy something or other. And now I'm good. Spicy spice can be combined with chem fluid to make a heat drink. Oh, good. May not be used on its own. How do I combine them? Double click to use slash combine. Cool. Okay, spacebar also opens my inventory. So far, so good. Oh, we got a gun. James, dead idiot. I always thought James was caring in Smart Lab, but I guess once the shit hit the fan, his true intelligence and selfishness was revealed. After a meeting about either a possible evacuation or quarantine, James decided to uh, every man for themselves. Yeah, that, that sounds like me. Like, screw you guys, everyone for themselves. Two seconds later, help me, I fucked up. He took both keys to the snowcats and tried to use one of them to escape. Of course, he needed to bring power back to the garage door, so he brought power to all sections of the base, leading the generator to overheat. Luckily, the power cable burned out, and a fuse blew the generator, or, and a fuse blew before the generator could. Karma got to him, and he crashed the snowcat just a few feet from the base while the garage door was closed, so he got locked out. As of now, he hasn't made his way back to the base, so either he is terrified to confront us, or the worst has happened to him. Whatever the case, if he wants to use the snow cast to escape, we must retrieve those keys. Hmm, interesting. Gonna be hard to keep track. 
rickety sperms, I reckon. Oh, I got a laboratory key? It's the key to the laboratory. Caffeinated spice. Make an energy drink. If anyone finds this note and I didn't make it out of this, I want you to know that I didn't go down without a fight. We discovered a parasitic organism under the ice and brought it back to our base for study. However, despite our best efforts to contain it, the organism somehow was able to infect most of the staff, turning them into monsters. Fair enough. I can tell you much about I can't tell you much about these things other than they appear to lack much intelligence and they can sense your body temperature. They can't see or hear you. But the warmer you are, the easier it is for them to detect you, even if you're in another room. So, if you want to be invisible to these things, you better take the risk of hypothermia. Ooh, that's a toughie. I got three bullets. Is that a note down there? Guess not. Not sure what the deal with these ID cards is. Unless it's to know whose room is whose. So the premise is rather interesting. We're not going to go out that way because that goes straight outside. The map system has like all the perks too, it seems, of like a Resident Evil game. And I think we should make a save this point. Like to double, yeah. Put away one of those. And we'll hold on to the rest. So let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, we have now saved our progress. Yeah, from what I saw, it looks like it might be a four to, or sorry, a one to two hour game experience. It's too cold to play billiard. Cryostasis, oh my. I remember there was a game called, oh shit, it must be pretty cold in this room. I can't read that. Okay, so there's nothing in this room. I do can. But we have a lab key. Okay, okay. Thankfully it auto-used it. That's good. Oh my. It's getting frosty. You know it would help if this place had power. That would be awesome. Spicy spice. And it looks as if there's going to be a little bit of item or inventory management in this game. So I kind of get the feeling that there's some good influences from various games. Now, I don't like inventory management personally, but it does tell me a couple things. Like, it does have sort of at least like the early Resident Evil game where you're kind of in mostly the same area the whole time. got a revolver. I'm not afraid to use it. Oh my god, it's cool. What the hell is it? Whoa! Oh my god, what? It takes four bullets to the face. Oh shit, I didn't even see this. I think we're gonna have to learn to do some melee combat. <laughs> Lab report. Research of the organism has shown both fascinating and unnerving results, and therefore we currently have giving Okay, there's a lot wrong with this sentence. <clears throat> uh, shown both fascinating and unnerving results, and therefore we are currently giving the organism the code name C34. Or from what 
rest of the staff like to call it the Ice Devil. One noticeable thing suggests that this organism has odd behavior towards heat. When we introduced it to some living tissue samples, the organism lacked interest in them until the samples began to get closer to a room, closer to room temp. Once that happened, organism latched onto the sample, began to alter its temp to become a cold. To become cold, this seems to suggest that the organism needs to be cold to survive, and will change the organisms that it infects to fit its needs. We can conclude that C34 shares certain similarities to a parasite, such such as a requiring the, such as requiring the host to be alive. When we attempted to kill off the sample, a reaction occurred wherein both the sample and the organism began to rapidly dissolve away. We were lucky enough to collect some of what remained before it completely dissolved and gave it to Susan in Lab B to examine them. Hmm. Except Lab B is locked. Now, what I read on one of the patch notes is that when you're reading a note, the game doesn't pause, but the temperatures, like, pause and they, so you don't freeze to death and then not being able to read notes because you're too busy being rushed, so... Either way, my character is still freezing to death, so... Is she the first victim? Maybe. Ashley... I chart. Uh oh, I smell a puzzle. Ooh, bullets. Sweet, sweet bullets. I'm freezing. Despite Simon not being exposed to cold weather, he somehow is suffering from severe hypothermia. Within mere hours, Simon's body temp went from blah 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 blah. This shouldn't be possible, but some of the known symptoms of hypothermia appear to be absent. Simon has not lost any consciousness muscle coordination, or energy. Yet other symptoms like skin turning blue, weak pulse, breathing, uh, sluggish thinking, etc. are still present. Also, Simon's behavior is becoming controllable and he has begun to perform paradoxical undressing. A paradoxical undressing. That's quite the uh, turn. And with him still retaining his energy and muscle coordination, it has become very difficult to prevent him from removing his clothing. Oh, the great paradox of removing one's clothing. Oh, silly people, what are they? <gasps> rifle ammo? Yep, rifle. Elf. I know I was making fun of those heat drinks earlier, but I'm... I would really love one of those heat drinks right now. My face is actually blocking the part of the menu that shows my levels on that. But, uh... Too much I can do about that. We're gonna not open that. The garage. Let's put some apples. Okay, so there's a huge ass garage kennel. Yeah, because like, I think I'm about to freeze to death right now. Infirmary. Oh. Can't go in there right now. That bee is locked. Storage bee. Oh god, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh man, my health went down so fast. Shotgun ammo. Chem fluids, oh baby. Arcade machine, what? I don't want to play an arcade, I'm dying here. Marquee, monitor, control panel, coin door, fuse compartment. Oh, there must be a fuse I can steal from the arcade machine. Probably requires me to have a screwdriver, which I think was supposed to be in the garage, if, if I remember correctly, right? Um, where is the fuse or the generator, rather? Oh my god! Oh my god! Just no, I don't like this one. Lockpick. Poor thing. Fuck the dog. Oh, poor me. Look, it's. Just, oh, okay. I'm not ready to go out there yet. Uh, we need 
to get access to that. Infirmary. So the only way through that barricade is the laboratory itself. Lab A. Did we go through this? I don't know. Oh man, this game's unnerving already because of the finiteness of the... So this is used to make a heat drink. Put away one extra health thing for now. Oops, forgot. Uh, how do I exit? Uh, yep. This makes a heat drink. This. This makes an energy drink. I don't. I don't. Okay, so we only have one heat drink. are a little odd. I think we're going to have to go outside. Chem fluid. Rifle ammo. Okay. Good. So we'll just put that away, I guess, for now. I guess we're going outside. The coldness in my room is really adding to this experience right now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Just gonna follow these lights, I guess. Oh crap. There's a key code I don't have access to. Okay, let's not go out here then. No kid, I can use it to escape this place. I don't think so. The other... What the hell is that noise? Got a reel. Garage door system. To the staff members, for safety reasons, we must tell you about these features of the garage door system. One, because the door takes up 90% of a wall, the door has been designed to withstand most any harsh conditions, not even a snowcat can blow through the door. So the door must be open. Okay. In order to prevent... Oh my god. Jesus, fuck. Ooh. Also, in order to prevent the doors from being left open, earn require a member to put to stay put at the base. The door is built with automatic timer. If nothing happens within a set time, door closes. Oh, God. Every vehicle will have a remote control to the garage door, so if there's no one in the base to open the door, be sure to use the remote. Okay. Oh, boy. That's going to be a puzzle. Oh! That's... Apple 7 Pineapple. So this is, I think, that thing in the beginning. Apple 7 Pineapple. Can I have a screwdriver, please? One of the screwdrivers is missing. I don't care. Just let me take one of the other ones. What is this? Cable's too damaged to be used. Well, isn't that fucking great? That's a melon. <laughs> I have bad news, good news, and more bad news. The bad news is despite cleaning and removing the damaged areas, the electric cable is still too badly damaged for me to repair. The good news is I believe we have another electric cable that we can use to fix the generator. The more bad news is that the electric cable is located on top of the radio tower. That sounds like it's a cold place, which means someone must risk the storm and try to retrieve it. Also, removing it will disconnect the radio. 
So even if we get to power back on, we'll not be able to radio for help. Room A key. Got more rifle ammo. Yeah, this really reminds me of that other game. Because it had like snow cats in it too. Ooh, precious, precious heat drink. Shotgun shows. Sure hope this doesn't kill me. Alright, so I don't think we can do anything else here right now. It might be long dark, I don't I don't remember the name, so. circled it. It's by the storage thingy. I'll need to get the power back to the garage, it says. Oh, suddenly there's... I need a starhead screwdriver. God damn it. Where was the... Energy drink. I don't give a fuck about energy drinks. So far the ambient temperature thing has not come back on. It just shows cold. Maybe I should, oops. Maybe I should use one of these health drinks. How do I use it? I feel like saving my game yet, either. I swear I hear a noise. Ah, this is it. <laughs> At least the combat's easy, I guess. report about Bay 75's electric system. Not too long ago, we needed to shut off the power to the exterior section of the base to repair an outside light. Doing so, we shut off the power to the base. It appears in all the interior sections of the base are connected to the exterior section. I thought the whole point power, the base power being broken up into sections was so that if, only, that if one section power needs to be shut off, the entire base wouldn't be affected. Doctor told me to center my eyes on rows one, three, and five. Oh no, where was the eye chart? Crap. I need to find the eye chart. That's the one, three, and five. We need the eye chart for room A lockbox thing. Don't know where it was though. been in the infirmary, which is next to the laboratory. I hope. One, three, 
and five. So Star River Diamond. Using so much warmth so fast. Uh, what the hell did I say? Star. Right? River? Uh oh. Diamond. Oh, I got an office key. Money. God damn, why is it so freezy over here? I'm literally about to run out of heat again. Like, I'm still losing warmth. Like, it just shows a zero. Do I have to keep all the doors closed, maybe? As I, as I move around, open and close them, because that would be a bit of a pain. Doesn't help. Where's the office? Oh, it's back by the... I don't know if closing the doors is actually making a difference. You guys can't see it. It's only a tiny little bit of help. Out on rifle ammo. Logbook. Henry, Henry and Danielle have given me the run down about the current situation with the generator. Basically, we have three tasks we need to take care of. First, we need to fix or replace the power cable. Okay. Second, replace the blown fuse. So, this is kind of like the check sheet, the checklist, whatever. If I recall, we used the spare for something, but I, remember, I can't remember what for. I'm pretty sure the fuse thing was for the, like, I need the screwdriver to get from the arcade machine in the recreation room. Third, someone should head to the storage shed and grab some motor oil. Where the fuck is the storage shed? Daniel had to, had to drain the generator of oil to fix it, and we won't be able to start it up if it has no oil. Once we get the generator running again, we must be sure to only power up only two sections of the base at a time. Anymore, we should just end up overheating the generator again. Okay, so we need a power cable, which was something about a radio tower. Fuck knows where that is. Second, replace the fuse, which I guess is going to be when we have a screwdriver, and the motor oil is in a shed or some shit. Okay. I have a kitchen key now. And room F key. Gunpowder. Sweet spice. Some of this stuff is gonna be using up a lot of my inventory space. Is that another note or something? No. Kitchen key and room F. Let's go dump our crap first. Make an energy tree. I'm gonna put the revolver away. I want more a little bit more space. It seems like the melee combat is really easy. And I'm actually going to go ahead and create a save here. Because I want to make a dash for the... where we started the game. While I still have some chance of remembering the puzzle. In fact, I think I forgot where... Whoa! Attacked by a dog. Okay, so enemies can respeak or either respawn or spawn in the first time. I'm not... Okay, um I think it was an apple thing, and then it was a seven, and then 
a watermelon. Oh, whew. Oh, gives me the shotgun, okay. we have power, there's a lot we cannot do. I'm gonna put the shotgun away too. Or, give me that. Toss that. We have a kitchen key and then room F key. Oh god, I'm freezing. Oh fuck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. in here, but looks like my warmth never goes up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Meal schedule. This is this going to be part of another puzzle? I don't know. Hint for the shed. If you want to get into the storage shed, just wait till dinner. Wait until dinner. Why? Is there nothing else in here other than that other hint? Oh, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh god, I don't have any... Oops. I don't think I have any heat drinks left, guys. Uh, energy drink... Energy drink... Oh my god, we're, we're, I don't have any, I don't have any heat drinks, we're fucked. 